Jin, chugging along on the old rag doll. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, and John he steers the boat. We go to play and have a look with Rosie's bag, Jim's drawing book. The world drifts by the window frame, and Rosie and Jim we play our games. Wah! Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, finding stories every day. Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim and John, he writes them down. <laughs> Hello, I'm John. You saw me steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life and I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? Well, it's a sunny day, so I'll start with that. One sunny day. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Well, I'll get my life jacket fastened first. That's it. And today I'm going along the canal, along this way, to see some very special horses. So I'll get the engine started and on my way. Before boats like mine had engines to make them go, people used to have big strong horses to pull them along. They call them shire horses. And that's the kind of horses I'm going to see today. Jim, Fiskog said that we were going to go all the way down here to see some big strong horses. Yeah, all the way down there, Rosie. Yeah. To see some great Big, strong, shy horses, he <laughs> said. Ah, he's not riding a big horse. He's riding a small pony. Oh, small pony, Rosie. <laughs> I've got my small pony now. <laughs> mm, now she is riding a big horse. I think it must be a Shire horse. I must be nearly there. Rosie, I could see great big horse. Yeah, but look at my big horse. Oh. Nay! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which way that horse went. I think I'll see if I can catch them up. Jim, my horse will get there faster than yours because your horse is only a pony. My pony, Rosie, mm? is faster than your horse. No, I'll beat you there. You <laughs> won't. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Is this one of the Shire horses? That's right, this is Viscount. He's a big one, isn't he? He's our largest horse at the moment. Oh, he's, is he? Uh, he's 11 years old and fully grown. Uh -huh. Hopefully he won't go any bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Jim! A Shire horse! Rosie? Yeah? He said that Shire horse was called Vi... Vi... Viscount! Uh, Viscount! 
Hello, boy count. Well, it looks to be having a very special hairdo today. That's right. I'm, I'm plaiting wool and ribbons into his mane. Mm -hmm. It's something we do on, on bank holidays and occasions like Easter time, just to decorate the horse and, and show him off to the public. Yes, yeah. Rosie. Yeah? What does plaiting mean? Um, I think it's what that man's doing with all that wool and ribbon. Woolly, woolly, woo. <laughs> Rosie. Yeah? He's making my cow look all nice with that plaiting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Rosie? Yeah? Little Pony? What's your name, Little Pony? <gasps> She's called Tammy, Rosie. <gasps> Tammy? Hello. Would you like to look as nice as that Shire horse over there? Yeah. Would you like to look nice like my count? Yeah. You're going to have another comb out now? That's right. Now we've finished the plot to take all the tangles out of the mane. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's looking very nice and tidy now. <laughs> ah, that's better. Just want the comb again. Ah, it's gone. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's strange. There's just the brush here. Is that? Oh, I'll, I'll make do with that for the time being. Thank you. What you like? I've got a comb here. <gasps> The brush now. There, you better go and get me one. Does he like being brushed? He does usually, but you've got to brush fairly hard because it does uh, tickle him, the small bristles on the brush. Oh, yes, I can imagine. Makes him nice and shiny, though, doesn't it? It does, makes him look nice and healthy. Mmm. Looks really nice now. Ah, oh, there's a the corn back again. Oh, goodness me. Where that went to? I don't know. Brush for Rosie. And nice ribbons. <laughs> Is that count ready now? Just about. And then we're going to put him in the cart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just wants another little brush. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, brush is gone. Oh, strange. Um, the only thing is going on today. Yeah. Never mind. We'll just take him as he is. Yeah. Good lad. Walk on. <laughs> there, Jim. Now, Tabby looks all nice too. Yeah, Tabby's all nice and looks like Viscount Rosie. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put you in your car, Tabby. <laughs> Rosie? Hiding this thing. What? In here? Yeah, hiding this thing. Quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, John. Right, oh, thank you. All right, we'll go then. Fire count. Walk on, my lad. That little pony is going faster than this big horse. Well, I never. It's overtaking us on the way back. Come on, Viscount, cheer up. Come on. Rosie? Yeah? She's going faster than this dog. Yeah? Hooray! Well done, Tammy. <laughs> Hooray! We did it, Jim. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Steady. Wait. We still. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? That 
Quackies, 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 song. <gasps> this cock's going. We've played too long. Come on, Jim. Trick, 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 trick. Well, thank you very much. It's all right. It's a pleasure. A very good ride. It's all right. Miss Viscount has done all the work. Oh, well, thank you, you to Viscount as well. Bye bye. Ta da. There. Are you ready, horse duck? <laughs> Walk on, boy. There. This is the way I drive my cart. Crackety chop. Crackety chop. This is the way I drive my cart. Crack chop. Crack. Jim, can I have a go now? Um, Rosie, yeah? you won't go too fast, will you? No, no, I won't. That doesn't like going too fast. No, I won't go too fast. Right, ready, duck horse? Good. <laughs> this is the way I drive our car. Quackety clop, quackety clop. This is the way I drive our car. Quackety clop, quackety clop, quackety clop, quackety clop. Rosie, <laughs> you're going too fast. Duck doesn't like going fast like that. He likes going like this, don't you, Duck Horse? <laughs> like this. This is the way we drive our car. Quackety clop, quackety clop. This is the way we drive our car. Quack, clop, quack. Jim, can I have another go? Um, Rosie. Yeah? You won't go too fast this time. No. All right then. Okay, thank you. Right, this is the way I drive a car. Quackety clop, quackety clop. This is the way I drive a car. Quackety clop, 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 Quick, oh, quick! Oh, hello, Duck. Are you playing at being a Shire horse? Very nice. <coughs> That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One sunny day, Rosie and Jim went for a walk. I'm tired, said Jim. We've walked too far, said Rosie. But we must go back to the rag doll, said Jim, or we'll have nowhere to sleep tonight. It's too far, said Rosie. My legs won't go. A girl trotted by on a brown pony. That's a good idea, said Rosie. They saw a horse in a field. Will you give us a ride home, said Rosie and Jim. Yes, said the horse, if you'll bring me some oats for my dinner. Rosie went to find some oats for the horse's dinner. I had to walk miles, said Rosie. And please bring me a good drink of water, said the horse. Jim went to find some water for the horse. I never knew that water was so heavy, said Jim. The horse ate its oats and drank its water. Lovely, it said. Jump on and we'll trot home. It's better than walking, said Rosie. It's nice to be home, said Jim. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old rag doll. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.